example problem show how can we use the steam table to calculate the enthalpy in composition of partial to condensed stream. So in this problem, you have been gave a stream of superheated steam at 2 kg per second, 10 bar, and 210 Celsius degree. As an energy from this stream is used in a heat exchanger to preheat a reactor field. So the first thing we should do is to draw the diagram. Here is a heat exchanger, HE. Here is the steam stream light coming with mass flow rate is equal to 2 kilogram per second. Pressure is equal to 10 bar. Temperature is equal to 210 Celsius degree. Of course, F than B is unknown. In a heat exchanger, a reactor feed which come in and extract 450 kilowatt or 450 kilojoule per second of energy. So because of this extraction, we have a change in the steam stream. So the mass flow rate will still equal to 2 kilograms per second. The pressure will still equal to 10 bar because a pressure drop across the heat exchanger is negligible. And of course, we don't know the temperature and the ephthalmy of this equation. So the next step is to find the enthalpy of field stream. So I have this superheated steam table, which will help us in managing this situation. The first column is pressure with bars and here we have the temperature from 50 to 350 Celsius degree. Our example is in 10 bar of a pressure and the temperature is 210 which is between 200 and 250. We need to know the cross between the pressure and temperature. As we go down to reach 10 bar, we will stop here, which is in cross with 10 bar of pressure. Now I will put the law, which is enthalpy in equal to temperature minus temperature low divided by temperature high minus temperature low. Multiplied by H high minus H low plus H low. Now we will do the calculation. Two hundred and eight two thousand eight hundred fifty kilojoule per kilogram. So now we can do energy balance on a steam stream. So that says Q is equal to minus M dot delta H. We can simplify this by minus M dot H out minus H in. 
from this equation we know the Q which is 450 and also we know the flow uh, the mass flow rate and we know the enthalmy out sorry the enthalmy in this will be Q will equal to 450 minus 2 enthalpy out minus enthalpy in which is 2850 enthalpy out will equal to 2625 kilojoule per kilogram now let's try to find the temperature of a steam coming out. So the enthalpy, which is 200, to, uh, 2625, which is degrees, so we go to the left. And this vertical line, which represents the saturated temperature, is in between 150 and 200 Celsius degree. As we go to the left to reach 10 bar, which is our pressure, the temperature is about 180 Celsius degree. The enthalpy of, tem of water in this temperature is 762, and the enthalpy of steam is 2776. So we know the enthalpy is between the pure vapor and pure liquid and saturation between them. So we know the temperature of a steam coming out is a saturated steam or saturated liquid is 179.9, which is 179.9. And we already mention the enthalpy coming out, which is 2625. So the last information is to calculate how much vapor and how much liquid do we have. So that means just apply the level row to determine how much each do we have. So evaporation fraction equal to H minus H saturation of liquid and H saturation of divided by H saturation of vapor minus H saturation of liquid. Now we will do the calculation 2625 minus 763 divided by 2776 which is here minus 763 and this will be equal to 93 percent